Peggy 18. My name is Patrick Liu, and uh, I am senior producer on Medal of Honor and Multiplayer. We offer 12 versus 12 players uh, over, over all platforms, you know, PC, Xbox 360, and PlayStation 3. Medal of Honor is going to ship with four game modes, multiplayer. Uh, you know, so we, the first one, Team Assault, is you know, the purest and the most straightforward game mode. It's team deathmatch game mode, and uh, you know, just kill people, shoot people as fast as you can, and you know, the one that kills most wins, obviously. And uh, but the level design is really, really good for team deathmatch. Like, you know, really old school design with the flow through the maps, uh, you know, the vertical gameplay stuff like that makes it really, really addictive. The second game mode is called Sector Control. Uh, you know, it's it's a good mix of both strategy, tactics, and you know, twitch action, and and. Uh, real shooting skills. So as a team you have to dominate three different areas of a map. Uh, you know, as long the more areas you dominate, the more points you get. So the first team to reach a certain number of points will win the match. So you really have to work together, you know, to, to both defend and capture new areas. The third game mode is called uh, Objective Raids, which is our quickest and most intense game mode. You never have, have a chance to rest, you have to be on your toes at all times. So it's an asymmetric game mode with attacker and defenders. Uh, there are two objectives that you need to take out as attackers. And you can do that, you know, split up your whole team uh, and, and take them both at the same time, or maybe you just choose to overrun one of the objectives at a time. So depending on that, it's very very tactical. So a match could be everything from you know two minutes to five minutes. The fourth one is combat mission, and that's our most epic game mode. Uh, it's it's a very long game mode. It takes quite some time to finish a match, and uh, it's about also again attackers and defenders. So it's asymmetric. You go through a number of objectives in a linear fashion. And what we're doing here now is to to give you more of a campaign feeling. Uh, so there's always a context of what, why you should be progressing and why you, you should move on. And also the mechanics for, for capturing these objectives could be a bit different. Uh, and you know, we're telling a story there throughout the whole campaign, you know, throughout the voiceovers, people talking to you, describing to you what you know, the next step is, you know, your progress, where you should be heading, uh, you know, events around you happening all the time, and just the environment telling you a story. So it's really, really engaging multiplayer mode. When, when you've done your thing and you think you're skilled enough, then you should try the hardcore mode. It's, it's, it's a deadlier game, firstly. Uh, you know, we removed the crosshairs, so you need to aim down the sights to actually aim properly. There's no minimap, there's no regeneration of your health, so once you're, you're you know, hurt, you're hurt. And I don't know, all kinds of things like that. So it's gonna be really hardcore.